to come and just talk to y'all for a second because I just got a package in the mail. Okay, and um, look at it. It's so pretty. Like, this packaging is high quality. You can already tell. I have nothing on my face right now. There's a string thingy coming out. I don't know if any of y'all have seen this new um, makeup line going around. I've seen it on Facebook. Say hey. Oh yeah, I'm so sorry. I didn't even say hey to all my beautiful souls. I'm so sorry. How are y'all doing? Okay, like things have just been going and we're just waiting for time now. At this point, we just waiting to move. It's getting pretty close, but it's still about a month away almost. I've been seeing this brand of makeup on social media and it's called IL Makeage. Ill makeage, makeage. I don't really know how to pronounce it, but let's just open it already, right? Like, stop wasting time. Y'all, this packaging is legit. I'm loving how black it is, first of all. Pun intended. Untraditional. So it says untraditional, uncompromising, and undeniably extra okay I like it I like it and I'm sorry if my face is looking ashy y'all I just washed it because I knew this was makeup and I was like let me just wash my face I wanted a completely bare face I have no moisturizer on or anything this is this is it it says makeup for a maximum this is what high standards look like. Meet your match. We love PDA, our formula. Okay. So here we go. So it says 100% cruelty free. We like that. Natural matte finish. Okay. Buildable to medium high coverage. Okay. 50 shades for all skin tones. Vitamin E and... You guys, I believe that this makeup is good. I do believe that this makeup is good. However, I will say, I will say that this makeup, this color foundation was a match from online. And I'm really skeptical about matching online. It's kind of like when you buy clothes from a vendor or you buy clothes from a um online company and you don't really know how their clothes fit yet you're kind of skeptical if a size three is gonna fit you like even though you know that size threes usually fit you it's like i don't know so okay i am a size three that's that's me that's me talking i like doing things in person to make sure that it's my fit this is the packaging this is the official packaging of the foundation and it looks so cute. Reminds me of like a skyscraper building or something. Taking this tape off. And I wanted to do it in front of you guys. I was waiting like all day. And I didn't think it would get here that fast. But here we go. I'm procrastinating. Are you for real? Like this thing is legit like sitting pretty. It's sitting pretty. Let's just play back. Mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm. It says, my color is 195, woke up like this. I'm liking the way it feels in my hands too. I really like this frosty finish. It's kind of like a lot of the newer um, brand, makes with makeup they 
use this frosty finish. I know Fenty Beauty uh, uses the frosty finish as well. I'm kind of scared. It's looking kind of light. I don't know. Does that look too bright for me? Try my face first. There's a mirror right here. Let's roll up the good old sleeves. Let's have a bite of this first. Mmm. Banana bread, wheat bread, bread with some cheese on it, bread with cinnamon on it, biscuit bread, croissant bread. I like them all. Should I put it on my face first or should, and then do this? Or should I put it on here and then? No, I should put it on my face first, huh? All right, let's see. I'm very curious how it comes out. There it is. Very liquidy as usual. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna take it from here. And then just kinda, let's see. That's really light. I know you guys see that. Well, let's blend it and let's see. Is it, is it? It has a nice sweet floral smell to it, to be honest. That's not, that's a nice smell, you guys. Okay, props to you on the smell. Uh-oh. What has happened? What is actually going on right now? You cannot even tell. Can y'all tell? <gasps> I see it now. This is definitely more flawless. You have a little bit more discoloration here and like, you can see more texture here. This is a lot more smoother. Okay, let's add a little bit more. Let's see, let's, we're gonna do one side and compare, okay? Should I just go like this? Yeah, maybe? I'll just put three dots. Is that okay, is three dots okay? I really want to see what it does when I add my con my high, um, concealer to the skin too. It's like a clean, not sweet, but it's like a clean floral smell. I like that a lot. My face smells good. How can you argue with that? Am I blending this too much? I don't know what's going on, y'all. Can y'all really see? And that's definitely like medium to buildable coverage. Like it says, like I only, I didn't really, did I put a lot? Was that a lot to y'all? I don't feel like that was a lot to me, honestly. Considering that my sponge was uh, moist and you know, when you, when you use your uh, blender, your uh, beauty blender sponge, it kind of soaks up a little. It soaks up just the right amount and also covers your face the right amount. It's like a, it's a teamwork effort, okay? That's very natural if you ask me. I really like that. I really like this, you guys. I only paid um, shipping because they do have a, I think it's a 14, they say 14 or 16. I'll have to look back at it and like put it in here somewhere. But they have a certain amount of days where you can try the foundation, see if you like it, and if you like it, then you pay the full price. And this is, the full price is $44. I only paid shipping, so I only paid $5, like $5 and some change, I think, um, for this. And that really wasn't bad either. I'm not gonna lie to y'all, I was very skeptical because like I said, I'd rather do things in person. How do you know that this is really me? How do you know this is my shade? I don't feel like the quiz was enough. You know, it's a really good quiz. Like, 
the fit me quiz whatever it's called it's really good they you know they can ask you some really good questions even if you don't know what your undertone is like I didn't really know like I kind of know what my undertone is but then I kind of don't really know what my undertone is like they just go in on the questions but I still felt like it wasn't enough you know and this thing is like y'all it's perfect like this i i'm gonna have to go ahead and pay the 44 dollars. i was thinking i was gonna have to ship this thing back or something i want to see how it builds though so let me add maybe just a little bit more i really want to see how it builds so we're testing it out even more As y'all can see, I cannot get past the smell. My face freaking smells good, okay? Just know that my face smells good. Even if the product isn't great, just be like, listen, my foundation may be a little out of whack right now, but at least my face smells good. The coverage is very buildable. It's very natural looking. As far as color, my face looks pretty much the same. So it did really good. It did a really good job color matching. Kudos to the quiz. I don't know how it wears throughout the day so far. This foundation is really good. Um, but I can't judge that entirely because I don't know how it wears throughout the day. So I'm gonna go ahead and finish the rest of my face. I'm gonna do my eyebrows and then I will come back and we will see what it looks like um, after I blend my concealer on top of it and just see how well that works together, okay? Something that I also wanted to point out, it's on both sides of my face now. This doesn't feel like I'm wearing makeup, by the way. It doesn't feel stiff, doesn't feel like caked, it, like that buildable. Even when I um, did like two layers, the buildable coverage, whatever, it still doesn't feel like I'm wearing makeup. Like. I'm really liking this. I'm really liking the way that it feels. It doesn't feel sticky. It's so good, I'm scared. Honestly, depending on how this wears throughout the day, if my skin doesn't get too oily from it or too dry from it, this is definitely gonna be like a new go-to foundation. I will be getting, I will be getting my foundation from you guys if this doesn't mess up my skin i didn't even conceal my brows um even though they look decent i don't know if i don't think i'm gonna conceal my brows today but i will conceal under my eye and my nose a little bit so let's see how this takes with my la girl pro concealer high definition in fawn I really want to like this foundation so much. I want to like it. I want to be its friend. Can we hang out? Let's go see the new Lion King together. They do have a concealer, like with the makeup line, like this is a whole makeup line, it's not just foundation. Um, however, the con I, th I could be wrong, but the concealer is like just the same price as the foundation, which I don't know how I feel about that. Sis, I have no complaints right now. I don't know what to tell you. Sis, we might be on to something. I personally think that we have cracked the code, okay? I'm getting my setting powder everywhere right now. 
So here's the hair. I also apologize for the lighting in here. I always use, if we're not doing a snack crate, I always use the natural lighting and the sun's going down and I got my blinds in the way and it's just doing this weird thing. This is obviously the curled-ish side um, that I personally like better. And then this is like, it's not curled, but it's not like straight either. And y'all, this is 20 inches long here and that comes to like my ribs. The frontal is 12 inches. And then I also have 18 and 16 inch bundles in here as well. I made this wig the whole summer. I wanted to have a blonde wig. And I actually toned it. I toned it down a lot. It was like, this is still yellow to me. Like this is still very yellow, but um, it was a lot more yellow than this. It was very, it, 613 here, y'all already know, blonde. I actually colored it pale beige blonde. And this is how it came out this is the look for today i'm really liking the foundation I'm not gonna make this video any much longer than it needs to be you guys thank you for staying tuned opening the box with me um i guess i could do a part two to this video to see actually uh how the to see how the foundation holds up um I'm really like trying not to be in the light like this for you guys <laughs> but yeah definitely might have a part two to this video just to review the foundation I've already set my face my setting spray and everything like that thank you guys for watching I guess that's it <laughs> please make sure you subscribe we are on the road to 100 subscribers and we are almost there I'm so excited I'm so so thankful because I remember when you know having this whole channel was just a thought you know in my mind in images mind and now we're almost to 100 subscribers which is crazy like y'all thank y'all for the support also don't forget to share this video like it comment and don't forget to turn on your post notifications like I said we are now posting videos every week at least two at least one um <laughs> but yeah we're gonna we're like i said we're gonna be a lot more active on here so thank you guys for watching see you on the next one